practice right around the corner just kind of give us your general overlook coming into the start of the season? Very excited about this upcoming season. A, a lot of it's due to just the unknown. You know, we've, we've lost some really big playmakers these past couple of years. It'd be the first time um, that I've taken the field without our quarterback, Devlin Hodges, under, under center. But, um, you know, we got a lot of good players that I'm excited to see what they do once the season starts. Um, a lot of them just haven't taken a lot of snaps for us, but they're talented. Um, I feel like our team's closer knit than it's ever been in the five years that I've been the coach. Um, and then, you know, we're, we're a week away from starting practice due to playing the week zero game on the 24th versus Youngstown State. A question I'm sure you're going to get a lot of today, but what have you kind of seen out of the quarterback competition? Well, you know, first of all, Liam Welch um, has been the backup the past three seasons, and he's very talented. Um, you come watch practice, he's got a live arm. He knows the system. Um, again, just hasn't had to do it as the number one, or QB1, if you will. Chris Oladokun came in, um, really improved a great deal from the first day to the last day of spring practice. Um, I expect him to come in and, and make a battle out of it. Um, I think they both finished um, kind of, you know, pretty close um, in, in the, after the spring. Chris brings a little bit more to the table as far as running the ball. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to, you know, who can get the ball to the playmakers and who can lead our team the best. And that's what it's going to boil down to as we head into that week one game. Preseason poll was released today. You guys picked six in the coaches and media polls. Does that give you kind of any added motivation? Well, I, I hope it would for the players. Um, you know, you, you never really know how it's going to all shape up. Um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, right now maybe that's where we need to be just because of all the unknowns we do have on our football team. But I do expect us to have a really good team this year to be very competitive. Um, and I'll be very disappointed if we finish the way we're predicted to finish um, with the type of players we have on our roster. And you've got the Week Zero game this year, too, on national television. Just talk a little bit about the opportunity that that brings. I think it's an exciting time for our football team as well as our university. You know, we celebrate the 150th year of college football. Um, the Sanford Bulldogs play the first game on ESPN um, to kick the season off against a tremendous opponent, um, an opponent that's been an, a thorn in, in Sanford's side um, for many years in Youngstown State. So um, it'll be a great opportunity for our guys to showcase their talents on the national stage as well as bring a lot of positive recognition to our fine university there in downtown Homewood.